Should we get should we get started then, guys? Cool. Come on, cheers, Speedo. Thanks, man. So yeah, if everyone could, uh, of course, just just put a mute everything just so we don't get that background noise and everything. But of course, feel free to to keep your cameras on. So just uh, afternoon, everyone. I know we've got. I know you guys have done a great job in pulling pulling this together, especially with it being your last. You know, well, first sort of say first day back in. So trying to sort out all the tests. So um, if you don't know me, I'm Mike Hart, Schools and Colleges Manager at England Rugby. And of course, it's part of our England Rugby Player Experience, our online engagement um, plan. A massive thanks to George for, for joining us, uh, which is fab. I'll do a little bit of intro for a minute, minute mate, so it saves you having to do all the embarrassing bit. Um, and of course, we're joined today by staff and students, of course, from Brooks and Melton College and Leicester Tigers, which of course is a DICE programme aligned with our 14 regional academies. And I think the I think the, the key connection today is, of course, that's that the part that George went through himself. And of course, we've got a great connection and a great opportunity there to engage and hopefully have a chat and pass us some top tips with uh, with the man himself and everything. So, so, of course, George, of course, playing his trade at Leicester Tigers, part of the England EPS at the moment. Um, and as I mentioned already, of course, hit that pathway through, of course, former student of Brooksby Melton himself and went through the last year. Leicester Academy process, so which is which is fantastic. All right, so I know some of the questions have been submitted already, um, so I'm gonna I'll hand over to uh, to Dave to, to ask some of them, and then Speed. I know you've got a, a question as well, which I think will be good for you to to ask. That's quite a nice personal one. And then what I suggest, lads, if I've got a few of the bits from the colleges that couldn't make it, because of course they're in for first day today, I've got a few of them I could ask. And actually, if you lads, if you wanted to use the chat through your own computers or through Steve and just say flag your name and everything and I can just invite you to to ask you an individual one and that should take us through to about half past anyway right it should be fab you want to George you want to say anything or anything or should we just hand over to Dave to yeah um just thanks for having me lads um I hope you're enjoying your first day back um I bet it's been horrible not being able to play for so long but um yeah I hope you're enjoying it cool brilliant Dave do you want to fire those three that you've Sent to me. Do you want me to bring them up for you, or are you all right? No, I've got, I've, I've got them here. Um, I'll probably just change the order up a little bit because I was, I was thinking when I've seen the lads drop onto the call. Obviously, um, you you won't have um, trained or played with any of the boys that are currently in college because um, you're two years out, and, and some of the boys haven't actually played for the college yet. We've done a bit of training, and we've managed to get training off the ground in in fits and starts. But what are your what are your memories of? Um, of playing for the college, George, and um, playing in the Ace League. Give us your give us your reflections on on your time at the college. Um, so, first of all, really enjoyed it. Um, really enjoyed all the rugby uh, that was there. Um, and in the first year, it was good. Um, but in the second year, we actually really pushed it, like performance wise. Um, we, I think, we came. I want to say sixth. Um, but yeah, good fun, uh, made a lot of really close friends that I'll have for uh, hopefully the whole of my life, like I've got three lads who I'm best friends with now still, so um, yeah, hopefully made some friends for life there, and uh, if you're boarding as well, enjoy that, I really enjoyed that, that was great fun, um, but yeah, yeah, it was good, thoroughly enjoyed it. And in terms of uh, rugby, what, what were your learnings early on from that rugby programme? Um, my learnings early on from it. Um, it taught me to, to grow up pretty fast, I think. Um, especially in that first, in that first year. Um, yeah, I, I, th I felt like... Um, I felt like because we were li all living together and um, like in lessons together all the time, we became quite close as a group. So it really taught me about like um, team teamwork, sticking together when things got tough. Because in the first year we didn't we didn't win, much. Um, but yeah, we all stuck together. So I think that's probably one thing I've learned. Yeah. <laughs> What changed then in that second year? You, you said you performed best in the, in the second year. Was that um, what were some of the reasons for that? Um, 
Right. Go on, yeah. Um, yeah, better in the second year. Um, we had some good players. Um, we had some lads, some young lads coming through as well. I don't know if any of you will know him, like Josh Lugston. Um, and then we had like some of the old lads stepped up. We had a, we had quite a lot of boys in the academy as well, so that was good. And so a good example would be Leo Gilliland. Um, so in the first year, he wasn't in the academy. Um, because he trained and played so well at Brooksby, um, he went to push on in the second year to then get an academy contract. And from that, he played really well in the academy games and then they gave him a development contract at Tigers. Um, so it, it's just it, that sort of sums, sums Brooksby up a bit. It gives lads like opportunity to play um, uh, in the Ace League um, and then, it, obviously, if you show show what you're about there, then you can progress. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Jordan, Jordan Tebbett, very similar. Uh, yeah, Jordan Tebbett as well. Yeah, nice. And then what, um, so if you had your time again, you go back to when you were... Um, so sort of 16 and come into the college what um what do you wish you had done differently or could you have done anything that, that would have prepared you for life after college a bit better where do you think where would you have paid more attention to um, truthfully i would have um in the first year like knuckled down on my work a bit more um and then, because in the second year, I had to play catch up a bit if I wanted to get the grades to go to university. Um, so, uh, yeah, I managed to get my grades, but I think in the first year, maybe knuckled down a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I think I, I really enjoyed the rugby. I went into it quite open, quite open hearted, and I really enjoyed it. So, I wouldn't. Um, and, and, and last um, topic from me really is uh, I know you've obviously had had ups and downs um, for the last three or four years in terms of you had your first major injury oh, I'm trying to think probably six months ago now three four months ago um, and and you've had other kind of smaller setbacks in the last couple of years how what are your tips or um, ways that you've learned around um, coping with that? And uh, and again, what, what are your tips for lads around, around when they're not being selected or if they have injuries around getting back on, um, you know, on the horse, as it were, uh, and getting themselves back in training, keeping their, keeping their mental skills and keeping them well and keeping them in a good place? Um. So for my for my um, for my injury, um, uh, I found it pretty I found it pretty tough at the start, but then I realised it's actually a chance for me to to get better and to improve on on other parts of my game. So say so I did my knee. So at the start I couldn't do couldn't do running or couldn't like anything so I, I I was bed bound for a few weeks so I practiced so I just did um review stuff for line outs I did a project on some of the best like sixes in the in the world so to see what I need to be like and to see how I need to train and how I need to prepare um to to get to where I want to be and then if you're not if you're not being selected so so um my mentality is um, use that use that feeling you get when you're not selected to to fuel to fuel your training next week, the week after, to show the head coach or to show the whoever it is you're trying to get trying to get picked over what you're about and then and, and then take that into the game when you play. So if you're on the bench, make sure you bring on and bring on. 
uh, when you come on, bring an impact. Um, but yeah, I'd say try, try and focus, try and focus on yourself. Don't, don't um, think about what, what other, other people are doing or what other people think as well. Um, if, if, if you want to, if you want to like get better, you should, I don't know, I should, I don't know. Yeah, well, I'd, yeah, that's it really. I, I would just say if you want to get better, like if you're trying to get better and people are judging you, then who, who's going to reap the reap the rewards in the end? So, nice, nice. And uh, I know um, we, we talked quite a lot previously around um, you, you. Um, Getting headspace and things, and uh, I know that you snuck, snuck off, snuck off to the uh, golf course a few times when you're at Brooksby just to get away. And sometimes you need to just change the change the environment and, and uh, relax around rugby as well. Any any um, any thoughts on on your experience of that now? Yeah, definitely. I, well, when it gets to because it, it can get too much a bit at Brooksby as well because it's quite rugby 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 lessons quite for long but um you just got to find your own way of doing it so me and, me and, the, me and the boys when we were we used to go on walks um just around uh there's a nice pub around the corner um, <laughs> when, um we went uh, obviously to the golf club we all got like a little membership there there's a nice free uh, par three course um but yeah yeah just it's the balance as well like you can't be full on all the time um you got to, got to, right. i still find it now oh my god uh yeah i still find it now like so i had a week off um family break this last week um and I found like, I, I, it was nice because I could go on, go on my walks, um, relax, play Warzone, like, have a bit of time to myself, um, like, try and escape it a little bit and then come back in this week feeling like, fresh, ready to go. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully get picked to play and, and go from there. Nice. Cheers, George. Brilliant. Should we, Speedo had a question, didn't he? Should we bring him in? Because it was a, I think you like this one. It was quite a personal one. He's here now. Hey, George. Hey, mate. Um, yeah, I just uh, wanted to remind you of your of our lovely trip down to Minehead when you came and did work with us. Um, but no, just on the way back, I remember, remember you and Harris having quite a heart-to-heart -heart with my partner, um, you kind of alluding to that um, you weren't sure about, about rugby being your, your ultimate dream and goal. So I just wanted to know, how did you find that motivation again? Um, and what advice would you give to the other lads if, if they're finding themselves in a similar position? Nice, Vito. Um, yeah, so I remember feeling like that. Um, so you know that quite a bit um, didn't know if rugby was for me um, yeah I found it quite hard to get myself up for training um, used to love playing in games but training was just hard for me um, but then I sort of and then I got got my motivation back by realising that this is actually what I, this is actually what I wanted to do. So having the tough conversations, uh, I've been I've been having counselling for I don't know for three four years, and had some tough conversations with a counsellor and just said, like realising this is actually what what makes me happy, um, and really like stripping it back as well. So when things when things started getting a bit much, I was like, well what like what do I actually enjoy doing? I enjoy hurting people when I when I when I tackle them. I enjoy running hard with the ball. Um just doing doing the simple stuff well. So I was like, 
that that sort of just goes straight back to do the stuff that I enjoy um, and doing doing training as well, so I, I I actually enjoy it more. And then, so similar thing, not similar, thing, yeah, similar thing. So I had that conversation. Oh, I don't know, three four years ago, with with your missus, and then um, and then at, when I got injured as well, I had the same conversation. Um, same similar conversation with my dad just saying oh like are you sure this is for me like but then I, I fought back and I was like yeah th this is this is what I like to do so um I, I used it and I was like and I was like I'm gonna come back better from my injury um which hopefully I have done so so yeah Brilliant, thank you. What, what, what I think what we'll do there is um, that was everything we had in. There was a few other bits that came from colleges, just some general bits. But guys, you want to use the chat and just fire in if you want to um, just fire in your name so I can invite you to, to unmute and ask a question if you want to. It just saves us all the muting at the same time and it just becomes absolute chaos. <laughs> um, while you're putting your name in there, I can invite you to invite you to unmute. Um, George, you mind asking a couple of things I've got here from some of yeah, the colleges? Of all right, mate. Thanks, mate. So it's literally just about England camp at the moment, actually. So what is England camp like at the moment? What is life like in camp? How, how does it differ to, to pro for the club? So, so for me, the, the main thing was I, I came in and I was really, really nervous. Like, uh, I never normally get nervous, but I was, I was nervous. Um, I thought all the lads would be quite judgmental like of me like being like young and, and no one really knows who I am because I haven't played much premiership rugby um, but everyone was being like so welcoming um, and I think that that helped me settle in quite quite easily um, and then from that um, training training's been tough um, really enjoyed it um, the things that have been hard for me is the early mornings so Get it repeatedly. Like we got some. I think we got a conditioning session tomorrow, at like six o'clock in the morning. So, like little things like that is is tough for me because I like my sleep. Um, but but yeah, um, everyone's been everyone's been really welcoming to me, and training's been good. Um, last week, especially training was really good. The mood in the camp was was really positive going into the game, um, but. But yeah, uh, it's a shame. A shame about the result. We shot ourselves in the foot a bit with, um, but hopefully we can correct that this this week going into into France. But but so far this week training training was really good yesterday. And everyone had a positive attitude. So, so yeah, great, great. Any key learnings so far? Yeah, and a limited experience. Yeah, so key learning for me is how I prepare for training. So um, so before I would sort of rock up to training um, te 10 minutes before, do a bit of stretching and then, um, and then get on. But, but, the, but the difference here is that, is that when, when you start training, you start training at, at 100% flat out. Um, and, and the way that, that everyone prepares and so I use Carl Sinclair as an example. So he he gets down to training an hour before, I would say at least, and and he's doing all of his shoulder prehab, um, getting all that stuff done. He must stretch for at least half an hour, and then he'll go over the plays, um, go over the lineup calls, and and make sure he's fire and ready to go for the session. Um, so I would definitely say. Uh, preparation for training physically and mentally um, because if you're not there 100% um, when you're training then you just get caught out because everyone's everyone's that good and so if I could I would have taken that learning I don't know a few years back and and prepared for training a bit better because I think it'll put you all in good stead um, for ever do go into a professional environment or or even at Brooksby you 
you're going to be ready for the session and ready to start the session 100% and you'll stand out. So, so yeah, that's definitely my biggest learning. Cool, brilliant. Is anyone anyone willing to anyone want to unmute and ask a question? We've got a few more minutes left. I'll ask another one if that's okay. Um, Go for it, mate. Uh, it may be a bit off the rugby side of things, but obviously, if you can allude to it, George, that'd be great. But what was your what was your one favourite moment from your time at Brooksby? Which moment will you take away from here? Oh, um, yeah, wow. Um, uh, <laughs> Keeping it PC, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to think. About that, that is a very risky question, Speedo. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we had some good times. We had some good times. Um, oh, uh, I would say... Um, we beat we beat this um, team from Leeds. Um, they're, they're really mouthy. Um, I don't know if it was in the first or the second year, and we had a good night after that. Um, we did some silly things as well, which we got we got tied off for. But yeah, I'd say when you when we won, it was good because we we're all winning together. Um, um, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't, I don't know, Speedo, I had lots of, lots of good times. Boarding was good, mate, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, our lessons were actually good as well. We, we had uh, Joe Glover in the first year, he was nice. Um, and then, but yeah, it was good, it was good, we had good time, good times, yeah. Um, yeah, it was good. Good man. Any, any of the lads? It looks like Dave's looks like he's coming in. I, I just had um, sort of one question slash comment really around, obviously we, we, we talked to the lads a lot about, um, I don't really like the word dual career because I think it's one career with with um, with different options. But um, and me, me and you, George, have spoken numerous times about this and I know that whilst you were at college and, and then in the last couple of years, you've, you've spent uh, a bit of time coaching uh, and uh, organising uh, plenty of sessions and putting some thought around around young players and coaching. So talk, just talk, talk to the lads about that around how, what did you learn at college that helped you with, with that? And um, how do you see that career panning out for you? I know we've missed a, we've missed a bit of your career development this year, had some yeah. plush gigs for you lined up that we've not been able to do, but... Talk us about that. Um, so is that that secondary career of being interested in teaching and coaching? Yeah. Um, so yeah, going to coaching. I'm, I don't know if I'll coach any of you lads. Um, did a bit uh, under sixteen. Um, but yeah, I got into it just through Brooksby. They offered um, coaching courses and a referees course as well. So I was like, oh. Um, I was like, oh, I might as well do it, learn a bit more about the game. Um, so I did the, did the coaching course, really enjoyed it, did my level two. Um, and then, and then yeah, just um, any time that Dave or anyone asked if they needed uh, uh, someone to do coaching or volunteer myself to do the uh, Leicestershire Counties. Um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy it because I like, help help uh, I like helping people um to 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 get better so and I and I felt like I could learn a lot as well um from from coaching um yeah yeah cool so I've had a question in the chat uh from Morgan um how do you stop yourself from getting bored so I'm guessing he means obviously when you're in camp <laughs> yeah so um Ooh, my watching a bit of YouTube, um, like watching a lot, like watching a bit of Warzone, a bit of Nick Merckx. He makes me laugh. Um, and then I don't know. I say so today will probably. It's, we, it's quite full up to be honest. Um, but then, like we normally finish a, after dinner, 
Um, so in the evening, I'm, I'm normally normally so dead. Um, I just start, you know, play Warzone for a bit uh, with some of the boys from back home. And then, and then yeah, I'll just hit the sack by about 10 o'clock. Um, I know there's some real keen, keen gamers uh, here that will stay up, like Luke Cowan Dickey. Um, he stays up and he games. Genji stays up and games. Um, uh, who else is a, who else is a gamer? Henry Slade's a gamer. Um, Ollie Lawrence, yeah, they all they all love. Brilliant, great stuff. And then uh, Harrison put something in, but I think you covered it anyway. You might want to jump on. He said, "Do you do anything on the side of rugby, like job or education?" But I think I think David. Yeah. Really yeah, okay. I'll, I'll try and coach him, um, see how that goes. I can come and, I don't know, watch a session or come coach a session at Brooksby. I think that would be good. I'll have to sort that with speed soon. Um, but, but yeah, um, I want I wanted to do like a carpentry course as well, something along the lines of that I've been meaning to sort out, um, just to have, that, to have that skill in life, you know. Um, but yeah. That's it, really. Brilliant. Any any more guys? We're literally oh, we're right on time now, so I think we've maybe got time for one more question. So I appreciate you got scheduled mate to get to, or maybe some gaming or chill out time. Any more questions from the lads? You can unmute yourself and ask away. No. Nope. That's cool then. That's cool. Well, just Dave Speeder. Thanks very much for pulling this together. Appreciate it. it was short time, uh, short notice and everything, especially with it being first day back and test and everything. So, guys, thanks very much for that. George, massive thanks for your time, mate. I really appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. All schedule and stuff. But I think you get some, you know, valuable experience there and, and some tips for the guys, which is great and all about engagement, the, engaging the team, which is fab.